All right, uh, let's look at the homework 2.6, uh, problem number 10. All right, so I'm going to use GeoGebra uh, to do this problem. And it uh, looks like uh, for a given epsilon value, uh, 0 0.1 and uh, 0 0.05, uh, we want to kind of, uh, we want to find the corresponding uh, uh, n value, uh, smallest possible integer value. All right, so uh, let's do that. All right, so first I'm going to uh, open up um, and I'm gonna uh, Google uh, GeoGebra uh, and then uh, GeoGebra Classic. So open up uh, GeoGebra Classic. All right, uh, then uh, I'm going to define the function. And uh, what was the function? Function is uh, 1 minus 8x over square root of uh, x squared plus 1. All right, so I'm going to just uh, type that in. All right, so define f of x. So f of x is equal to uh, 1 minus 8x, and then whole thing. So I'm going to highlight this. Uh, divide by uh, square root of. Uh, x squared uh, plus 1, right? So I'm going to just uh, hit enter, right? So the graph is here. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll just uh, move it around a little bit so that we can see the graph a little bit better. Yeah, so I'm going to, yeah, like that. All right, so the graph is going there, and it looks like it's heading toward negative 8. So limit value um, is uh, ne uh, negative 8, right? And put that in, All right? Then epsilon value is, uh, for the first one, is a 0 0.1, I believe. Let me double check. So 0 0.1. So uh, uh, let's put that in. All right, epsilon value, uh, epsilon, so go here, Greek letter, epsilon, is equal to 0 0.1, right? And hit enter. I right, have that. All right, so I'm going to draw, um, uh, let's see, uh, first the limit uh, y equal horizontal line at, uh, at L. So I have that. And also, uh, we don't actually need it, but uh, horizontal line um, L minus epsilon, right? So that's the uh, kind of a lower bound here, right? And then we're going to put the y equals L plus epsilon, right? So that would be the upper bound there. Right, then if you look at that, uh, let's see, uh, we need to um, kind of uh, um, zoom in a little bit. Uh, zoom in, I meant. Right, so zoom in here, right, and I'm going to just move it here. Right, so you can see that uh, here, if I shrink it like that, right, and maybe I have to, I have to zoom in a little bit more. So I'm going to just uh, shrink it here. And then uh, zoom uh, zoom in a little bit more. So zoom in here, and zoom in here, right, and uh, here, right. So uh, oh, actually, that's not what I wanted to do. I zoom out, All right. So I want to move that, All right. So you can see that uh, somewhere around here, uh, looks like uh, it's going to go between uh, L minus epsilon and L plus epsilon. So we want to uh, find the intersection there. Uh, let's see, so I'm going to um, make it a bit closer. Maybe go here, right, just to zoom in. Right, so somewhere around there. So I'm going to find the uh, intersection, right? So I'm gonna do the intersection tool. And then I think it's around there, so I'm gonna just uh, click on it uh, here. Right, so we found the uh, intersection. All right, so it looks like our intersection is at, uh, let's see, 13.03. So we want the smallest possible integer, so you have to go beyond that. So 14 would probably work, All right? So if you put, type in uh, 14, All right? Uh, let's check the answer. All right, uh, I came back, and looks like, uh, you know, we can set n to be 14. And uh, when x is bigger than 14, uh, you can see that graph is going to be always between uh, uh, L minus epsilon and L plus epsilon, right? And for the next uh, next one, uh, epsilon value is 0 0.05. So all you have to do is go to GeoGebra and then change the value here. So we're going to change this value to uh, 0 0.05 and then hit enter. And everything else is recalculated. And actually, we cannot see this, so I'm going to have to uh, uh, move it a little bit here. 
All right, so um, I have to, uh, let's see here. I move this and I'm going to uh, rescale, uh, rescale this, Oop, actually. All right, so this is not good. <laughs> All right, I'm going to rescale it. All right, so it's a 23, so I'm going to have to go around here. All right, and then uh, I'm going to go down here so that we can see the picture. All right, so that was, um, was it uh, around negative 8, right? So I'm going to go to negative 8 right here. All right, so you can see that the intersection is here. So, and uh, x coordinate is 23.4. So once you go beyond that, it looks like the graph is uh, within uh, uh, L minus epsilon and L plus epsilon. So we can take uh, N to be 24, right? So let's uh, type it in. So 24. All right, let's check the answer. All right, uh, it came back and looks like uh, we got the uh, second part correctly as well. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.